Kwingineko mtazamaji ni kwamba mpango wa matibabu kwa walimu nchini chini ya usimamizi wa kampuni ya AON Minet umepongezwa kwa kuimarisha viwango vya matibabu kwa walimu waliojiriwa na tume ya TSC. Akizungumza kwenye hafla ya uhamasisho wa wanahabari afisa mkuu mtendaji wa Minet Kenya Sami Muthui alisema mpango huo wa bima ya matibabu uliodumu kwa miaka tisa sasa unagaramia matibabu ya magonjwa yote yakiwemo magonjwa sugu. Mpango wa matibabu kwa walimu unaotekelezwa na makundi tisa chini ya usimamizi wa kampuni ya Minet Kenya unajumuisha kampuni nyingine sita za bima. Afisa mkuu wa kampuni ya Minet Kenya Sami Mudhui amesema mpango huo unanufaisha wanachama milioni 1.3 wakiwemo walimu 1360 na jamaa zao umeokoa maisha na kuimarisha afya miongoni mwa wanachama. We used to lose about 2000 teachers a year. Nowadays even with the number that has gone up to 360 that we are unfortunately losing about 1000 a year if not just slightly less so when we look at our calculations we 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 have the opinion that we've, we the scheme has improved the mortality rate by 50% Mpango huo wa bima ulichukua mahali pa marupurupu ya matibabu yaliyokuwa yakitolewa na tume ya kuajiri walimu TSC ambayo kwa kiwango kikubwa hayangeweza kugaramia matibabu ya walimu uh, in terms of government uh, policy every employer is supposed to provide uh, a medical scheme for their employees Miongoni mwa huduma ambazo walimu wanapata ni kulazwa hospitalini kutibiwa na kurejea nyumbani huduma za uzazi na dharura We have about 175 maternity cases every day that we take care of. We do actually a lot of evacuations around the country, be it with the road, uh, fixed airplane, helicopter. Mpango huo unajumuisha hadi watoto wa nne wa mwanachama. So what we've done as Minet, uh, we have a separate scheme we've arranged such that if you want to bring your other children but the teacher pays for themselves directly. That has nothing to do with the commission. Minet Kenya pia inashughulikia malalamishi ya walimu endapo hawahudumiwi vyema katika baadhi ya vituo vya matibabu na swala la ulipaji bili kati ya mwajiri na mwajiriwa ambalo tayari limeondolewa kutoka kwa mpango huo wa bima ya matibabu to discourage over consumption i mean unnecessary consumption to reduce the cost of a scheme so the person who takes the money is not the medical scheme it's not the insurer it is the medical provider where you have gone suspension of service providers has been done uh, it has various factors one is basically a fraud then non compliances alitoa wito kwa walimu kujifahamisha vilivyo na mpango huo matibabu ili kupata huduma bora maria ambo nikiripotia kbc channel 1